Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to do a quick comparison of the, on the left, AOC E2752 VH, and on the right, the AOC 12757 FH. Please enjoy. Alright guys, first up we're going to have the 2752 VH. Now this is a great monitor, it's 1080p, 27 inch monitor. First kill. One of the, uh, the best aspects of this monitor is that there is only a 2 millisecond refresh, which is super fast. Um, and this one was only, I think it was 160 at Best Buy, so really hard to um, get even close to that. If you're lucky, most of the other monitors will be 5, and that's milliseconds. That's for the good ones. So to get it 2 milliseconds for under 20 bucks is an extremely... Great deal. Let's see if this fucker comes around the corner. Got him. Where's your, where's your buddy at? Come on. I know you're coming. But yeah, I mean, you guys, you can see the... Um, it's a completely different world playing with this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and forth between this one and the other AOC so you can see, guys can see the difference so I'll be right back with the other one alright guys I just switched over to the other monitor so you guys can kind of see the difference uh, and that's what I'm going to do in this video I'm just going to go back and forth between the two different monitors so you guys can kind of see now this one is also a 27 inch HD monitor but this one is actually an IPS versus straight LCD um, and this one has a five millisecond while the other one has a two millisecond. So slower refresh, um, you know, can you really tell it's hard? I mean, it's hard for me to tell a huge difference. So, I mean, that's what the numbers will say. The numbers will say, you know, you know, this one over here is five. And this one is only two, but when I play them back to back, um, it's you know hard to tell. Um, let's see, I'm gonna try to come in here real quick. Okay. Just saw them. Where do you go? But yeah, um, one of the. Uh, the bigger differences that I've noticed between these two is, and it even says it on the information, uh, this one has 250 nets of brightness, this one has 300, so again, 250 versus 300. Um, so more than anything, I, n I think the brightness affects it, and the, uh, the, br the settings on this are interesting so you can like right now I have it on picture boost which is the only reason why it's brighter so if I uh, take off picture boost you can see it's significantly darker um, which I'm you know for me personally I I enjoy my screens brighter so Dang, okay, got another one. So, as you guys can see, no picture boost. And then I'm going to turn it back on with the picture boost. So, and then you have to increase the frame size so you guys can see. So, this is picture boost on picture boost off so once again on you guys can kind of you know see the big difference um, with it on so 
It is interesting. Um, it's almost like with this one over here, you don't have to worry about it since it's a higher um, rate. So that could definitely be something for you. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch back to uh, the other one so you guys can see. I'll be right back. All right, guys. Now we're back with the E2752, and I've added the picture boost to this one, so now you can kind of see the difference in gameplay with the much brighter screen. So, and again, this one is 300 nits brightness, while the other one is only 250 nits brightness. So, a difference, um, and also. This one has the, uh, like I said earlier, the two millisecond refresh rate. So in theory, if I'm playing against people that are just playing on TVs, I'm going to have a competitive advantage against them because things are going to move a lot faster for me. Like that. I was able to kill him super quick even though he was closer to me. It's just because I'm seeing everything a lot faster than he is seeing everything there's a lot less of a delay so that's one of the advantages of playing on playing on a uh, monitor versus playing on TV so yeah um, and I'm gonna kinda show you kinda all you have to do so you have to go to the menu, then you have to hit again, and again, this is with the brightness on. So you guys can see brightness on, off. On, and then once it's on, you gotta, and they make this menu kind of crappy. You have to go down, click this, and then get it on, so brightness on brightness off and you can kind of see so when you do the brightness it starts with the frame so you have to, I have to increase the frame size you guys can see like this is 86 percent frame so this side is bright this side isn't bright so you guys can kind of see the, the difference so the brightness boost over here versus non-brightness boost um it's really a matter of preference but yeah so there we go. menu here, I'm gonna go down. I should go down here. Menu again. Okay. Anyways, guys, this is a quick video comparison of the AOC E27252 over here and the 12757 over here. So they're both. Great products. Um, it's got a lot of things about personal preference. Um, I like them both. Uh, you know, I like the fact that there's little, a little bezel over here. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the bigger bezel, but the fact that this one only has the two millisecond refresh rate is, you know, a huge advantage. Anyways, guys, it's just going to be a, just a quick video. Uh, thank you again. If you like the video, hit the like button for me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you want to see more great videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, guys. Thank you, and have a great day.